Hi, hello, good day, good morning. How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday? It's your artist friend Chris Dyer here, as every week. Today I'm gonna give you a little tour of my uh, studio apartment here in Quilmaná, Peru. We're on our land, uh, the land of my parents, uh, called Muyawasi. Uh, I like to call my, my, my building, or at least my floor, the Positive Portal Peru. The first floor here is actually my dad's uh, toy car museum or gallery, but uh, it's still under uh, construction. Uh, but at least I started a few murals outside. I, I've done them throughout the years, and I still hope to do a, another bigger mural up there. Come over here, Mom. My mom's being the filmer today. So, so let's go over here to the entrance. Here, uh, we're in the patio of the entrance of my apartment. Uh, this is a new mural I just finished painting recently. Uh, Wiracocha, and these are some San Pedro cactuses that my dad planted a few years. They're already getting pretty tall. Come here, mom. Yeah. Um, and let me show you be beneath the uh, stairs. We got a litter. little litter of puppies. That just grew up. They're taking their their nap, but they're very cute. And then over here, this is my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. She's our filmer for today. This is the other mural I got by the entrance of my home. And here's another one up here. So yeah, I just want to fill this up. There's still another mural to be done in that wall in the middle, but little by little, we'll get there. So come up with me. Actually, I'll take the camera and take it from here, Mom. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, you're so, so fun. <laughs> Thanks. Here's some little cactuses I love your cactus, yes. that I just bought recently before we entered quarantine. And I painted this little section. And uh, we also got this little cholito that I should put some plants in the back. And I bought this little mushroom. Nice uh, view of my brother's mural down there and the mountains in the back. Uh, this, these door handles I actually bought in Bali. I knew that this apartment was going to happen at some point. And uh, yeah, here is my living room that I also use as a studio. I don't have too many original paintings here, but I got some uh, tapestries from my brand. Actually, that uh, surfboard is an original painting, I guess. And then over here we got this little sculpture from Arequipa, a very traditional Peruvian sculpture, I really love it. I want to buy more Peruvian traditional stuff. These cushions also are uh, arts and crafts market and this good luck protection bowl. And this rug is an old rug that my parents had and I love it, it's very shamanic. And yeah, I'm working on this horse these days. I'm still painting it, as you can see I'm adding these uh, blue lines, but it's not done everywhere. And I got other details to be done. Over here we got a little bit of toys. I definitely don't have as many toys as I have in Montreal. But, uh, you know, starting a little collection here of characters and figures. Marvel and Star Wars, of course. I really love my entertainment section and some my dinner table with art materials and I got some prints and stuff and a sculpture by John Shilk of one of my galactic dudes and over here I'm starting a little mask collection uh, but I only have two so far <laughs> so not a big collection um, over here is my office area my desk with my laptop is where I spend a lot of hours answering emails Luckily, I got a beautiful view, once again, of my brother's mural and the mountains in the back and just the country nature. And over here, I got this work table where I can do my paintings. I don't have a ton of art I've done here, but I painted this Castle Grayskull recently. And I also did this little canvas that I got a mail to California for a show soon. 
And yeah, uh, here's a little Galactic Dude toy that I made a couple years ago. And a uh, window mirror situation I bought in Austria when I was there. Mini canvas and a boombox I bought from a junkyard. And more tapestries and skateboards. And here's an easel with a painting I shall be doing soon. It's just at the drawing stages. Here, this window has a nice view of the neighbor's property. I really love being able to just breathe some fresh country air. Over here, it's more like my bedroom. So I got my bed where I sleep. Once again, with a nice tapestry above. And one request I had for my dad when he built this place for me, uh, I asked him to make me a little pyramid on top. So. There's a pyramid on the top to bring in good vibrations over my bed so I can have a very beautiful restful sleep. Uh, every time I go to the jungle I get these nice textiles from the Shipibo. Really nice shamanic artwork. A picture of me as a two-year-old I think. Some Palo Santo. And then over here, I got my altar with different crystals and shamanic objects and sculptures and uh, some bones I got from Vienna and the worst Spider-Man you've ever seen. Yeah, it's a weird altar, but I like it. Below you got my drum and this is a print of the Angel of Death. Uh, drawing I did a few years back. So yeah, this is the general gist of my little studio apartment. Really stoked and grateful to have moved here earlier this year. I can do my work. I have space to chill out. I got space for guests, but uh, no guests quite yet. Oh yeah, here's a little kitchenette. I don't really cook that much, but if I did, here's a place where I would do it. Now, this is a ladder. I'm gonna go up and I'll show you the rooftop patio. It's a little bit of a weird climb. Let's put the camera down for two seconds. And from here, we got a nice better view of my neighbor's uh, land. They got a nice big farm. And we got lots of beautiful mountains in the back. We're in a valley, an agri agricultural valley. So on this rooftop, we got the top of my pyramid. You remember on top of my bed? Well, this is how it looks on top. And right now it's just cement. But eventually I'd like to put some nice tiles and maybe paint it and just like a nice chill spot where you can sit in the sun and look at the view behind us. And yeah, this is our land. Uh, all the way to the front, to that front uh, little apartment we got there. And we mostly got avocado trees and lucumas. This is uh, the wall that separates us from our neighbor's land that doesn't have much going on right now, but hopefully he's gonna be working something nice soon. And yeah, we're just surrounded by mountains. It's beautiful. I'm very grateful. And uh, yeah, it's great to be out here in the country. Beautiful Kilmana, Peru. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour I had for you. So my little humble spot. And uh, yeah, I hope that you also have a chance to buy a piece of land at some point and create your own paradise where you can do your art and your projects and just uh, breathe fresh air and enjoy the sun. <sighs> I love you. See you next week. Blessings. Peace.